Hey guys, it's Jay, and welcome back to another episode of Foodie Friday. Today in the kitchen, we are going to tackle split pea soup, which is actually something I never thought that I would like. As a kid, I had a book called George and Martha that was about two hippopotamuses' eyes, hippopotamus friends, and the one story that always stuck with me is how Martha loved to cook split pea soup and George hated it with all his fortitude of his soul. He even went so far as to hide it in his shoe so he didn't have to eat it, but that story had a happy ending. So uh, since I've grown up, I have learned that I actually do like split pea soup. It's really easy to make and really quick. And to quote John Lennon, all we are saying is give peas a chance. Let's do it. So we are actually not going to start with the peas. We'll be starting with some vegetables for the base for our soup. Let's head to the cutting board. So we are starting here as usual with some carrots. I usually use four to six big carrots and what I'm working with today is baby carrots. And I've got like five sticks of celery here. So we are going to dice all of this in fast forward mode. Now that we have our vegetables in teeny tiny little pieces, we are going to want to put some oil in a pot on the stove over low, medium, low heat and soften these for probably 10 minutes or so till they start to be a little translucent. No browning, just softening. So we will put our heat on medium, low and add about a couple of tablespoons of oil to our pot. Once that comes up to temperature, we will sweat our vegetables. This step is actually optional. Uh, this soup is going to boil for about an hour anyway, so if you don't mind your vegetables being a little firmer, which I don't, half the time I skip this and I will just go ahead and add everything in the pot at one time and just let it boil. And it's perfect. But for now, we're going to do it the right way. So our oil has had a few minutes to warm up and we will now add our vegetables to the pot and let them sweat until they are pretty soft. You know, 10 minutes, something like that. Sure. So there our vegetables have had a few minutes to soften up a bit and now we are gonna add a whole bunch of goodness to the pot. Here we go. So I'm going to raise our heat to high so that we can obtain some boilage and add four cups of chicken broth or if you want this to be truly vegetarian, you can use veggie broth four cups of water. There's two, and two plus two, it's four, last I checked. Our one pound of split green peas, which I have rinsed and scrined. One tablespoon of dried minced onion, or you could have incorporated some fresh onion in this sweatage. One teaspoon of dried thyme, which I don't know why I'm measuring with a half teaspoon measure, but whatever and approximately three bay leaves. I like to try to pick nice big ones. I've got some kind of puny ones here today. We are going to be picking these out at the end of the process. Do not consume. And salt to taste. I'm gonna start with one tablespoon of our Salt Sense reduced sodium salt, kind of an oxymoron. And I will put a caption down here as to how much total salt I ended up putting in after cooking and tasting. So we will stir to combine, let this come to a boil. Once it hits a boil, reduce to a simmer and let it go for about 45 minutes to an hour. Taste it again for salt and that's it. This is an easy one. Bubblage has been obtained so we will drop the heat down to medium and let this simmer away. So it has been about an hour of simmer time and let's see what we have. Looking pretty good here. The only thing left to do will be to find and pick out the three bay leaves that we put in and then consume. At this point you could carefully drop it into a blender and puree it or use one of those little hand stick dudes if you felt like it, but we actually like this rustic approach. So that is it, super quick and easy today. Let's do the math. Let's see how we're looking on the nutrition front. We have the numbers for the entire pot of soup, and I usually divide this up into six servings of about one and a half cups each. There are those numbers. Let's see how we did at the register. 1,000,000. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Foodie Friday. 
Split pea soup is not something to be afraid of, I guess, unless you're a hippopotamus. So that's our life lesson for today. So please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Become a Paromaniac today. Follow us on social media. All sorts of stuff like that. And until next time, rock on!